Well, people who live in one Cleveland neighborhood say their calls to take care of an abandoned home attracting vagrants went unheard until they used a resource some didn't even know about, the 311 reporting system. There are children who live on our street down at the end, and they walk past every day on their way to school. As Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis shows us in a story you will only see on News 5, they want you to use it too because they think it could be the key to cleaning up the city. Well, according to some Cleveland Block Club leaders and community activists, Cleveland's 311 system is underutilized in reporting neighborhood safety issues like the one you're about to see right here in Cleveland's Slavic Village neighborhood. Sadie Jackson made a startling discovery at this vacant home right next door. One day at night I came from work. Someone was coming from under this hole. Vagrants and drug addicts set up in condemned homes in her Linton Avenue neighborhood. And I told them, I said, don't you know you can get shot doing that? Sadie says she reported the hazardous home to the city of Cleveland several times with little response. I don't know if the police could ever catch him or anything. Is this a house that could explode? Finally, the Mound Block Club reported the house to Cleveland's 311 system using this report sheet crafted by neighborhood activist Ed McDonald. And those people are bringing bad things into our neighborhood and they're scaring our residents. Block Club President Denise Schultz believes more residents need to use the 311 system to report neighborhood safety issues that too many homeowners don't know about it. Even though a five on your side investigation just last May showed the 311 system to be filled with slow response times. Response times critical, especially with a house like this one just 500 feet from Mound Elementary. It's one of those programs that you have to use it or lose it. And and we want to make sure that we use it appropriately. When somebody's climbing in through a basement window, call 911 and then call 311. Cleveland Councilman Tony Brancatelli responded immediately to the potential danger here on Linton Avenue and says he will look into more staffing of the 311 system, a safety issue that has residents wondering how they'll defend themselves. And I never thought about getting a gun. I don't want guns because I'm afraid of them. They're just so ugly to me. And some potential good news about that home on Linton Avenue. We've now learned that an investment firm is considering buying that house and renovating it, thus saving it from the wrecking ball. Reporting here in Cleveland's Slavic Village neighborhood, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.